Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. 1145 in Honolulu, 445 in New York on a Friday. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. It is the third day of March 2023 and this is uh, the weekend review. Beginning next week, there will be a series of events and reports that most certainly will have a tremendous impact on the direction of gold pricing. On Tuesday, Chairman Powell will address the Senate Banking Committee, followed by a testimony to the House Financial Services Committee the following day on Wednesday. Next week will be capped off on Friday with the Labor Department's non-farm payroll jobs report. Then on the 14th of March, the following week, there will be the most current inflation data vis-a-vis the CPI inflation index for last month. And those events collectively will lead up to this month's FOMC meeting that begins on the 21st and ends on the 22nd when the Federal Reserve will announce the next rate hike. A phenomenal upside move for gold today with the most active April contract gaining $22.30. That is a gain of 1.21% with the April futures contract fixed at $1,862.80. Most noteworthy is the fact that in today's trading, gold opened at the low and closed just off of the high. Another noteworthy component about today's respectable gain in gold is that it is the result of a combination of dollar weakness and bullish sentiment amongst traders. The dollar itself lost 0.47% and the dollar index is currently fixed at 104.50. Lastly, an exceedingly strong performance in silver with net gains of 2.32% or 48 cents, takes the March contract to $21.38.5. Of all four precious metals traded on the futures exchange, gold, silver, platinum, and palladium, silver was the largest gainer of the day. This week, we saw gold have a phenomenal rise and really was characterized by dollar strength or weakness. In the case of this week, it has to be characterized by dollar weakness. Monday's candle was the first green candle, really marking the end of the first wave of this correction, what I believe to be the A wave of an ABC correction, which will combined signal the conclusion of wave four on our Elliott wave count. What we want to see is if gold continues higher next week and challenges the 50-day moving average, if that becomes a point of resistance and we see gold track lower from there or a solid breakout because a breakout above the 50-day moving average would signal that there is more wind in the sails of this current leg of the rally. We are anticipating that this rally could conclude anywhere between $1,892 and $1,930 on the high end because typically a B wave will move between 50 and 75% of the price decline that was witnessed during the down wave or the A wave on our ABC correction. Lastly, I do want to acknowledge that the limit order that we placed on Tuesday of this week to go long April gold at 1828 was not filled. The low on the following day or Wednesday came in at 2960, $1,829.60, which unfortunately was a dollar sixty above our limit order at $1,828. That being said, my primary responsibility is to put us in profitable trades. That requires that we enter the trade at the best possible price. While we missed it this week, there is still room to the upside in terms of what I am anticipating this rally to take hold to. And then when the C wave concludes a final fifth wave, where we can definitely take advantage 
of the fact that the fifth wave will by necessity close above $1,973, the end or concluding price of wave three. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you after the weekend. Bye-bye.